let's say that we have a probability problem that we want to solve this problem involves uh, multiple throws of uh, an unbiased die and the problem that we've been asked to the probability that we've been asked to calculate is what is the probability of getting at least one four the number four as you can see on this uh, picture here in multiple throws of a die how should we go about solving this problem in general uh, throws of a die form binomial distributions but that doesn't help us we need to start thinking about this in terms of uh, success and failure okay so what do we need to calculate let's not forget that we need to calculate the probability of getting at least one four and let's say that we're going to make uh, four throws okay so these the following two four five and one maybe we threw it four times and we got two four five and one or we got four one six and six these are all successful strings when n or the number of uh, times we threw the die was uh, was four times obviously two three three six or three one five two and many many others should not be counted because they don't have at least one four in them so we're sort of slowly getting a hang of what are successful strings and uh, uh, failures or strings that don't count but we still are not closer to getting the answer we need an insight and this is something that um, you should remember if you want to solve these types of problems very often the number of successful strings are too numerous they are so many that they cannot be enumerated in that case it is easier to calculate the probability of failures of failure strings once we do that we can then sort of back our way into the probability of a successful string by doing one minus probability of all failure strings uh, so how do we go about doing that in this case uh, this technique of backing into the answer is sometimes called a complementary calculating complementary probabilities what are the probability of a failure strings what is the probability that there is no four in n throws of a die that's sort of the reverse problem right uh, let's again start out simple what is the probability of not getting a four even in a single throw let's say that everyone knows that because you can get the numbers one two three five and six so five out of six possible cases the probability of getting no four in one throw is five by six in a throw of a die because each throw is an in considered an independent event if you're going to get no four in n throws the probability is simply five by six times five by six times five by six and you keep doing that until you do until you have reached all n throws so five by six raised to the n is the probability of not getting a four in any any of the throws now we can calculate the answer that we're looking for the probability of getting at least one four which is what we are really interested in is one minus the probability of not getting a single four which is one minus five by six raised to n that's the that's the solution to this problem but we don't stop here there is one small step if you have the time it's always good to check to make sure that the answer does make sense why don't we take a small n n in n is one the sort of um, uh, trivial one minus um, five by six is one by six which is the probability of getting a four but let's do it for n is equal to two n is equal to two means that we're going to throw the die twice in which case as we know there will be 36 strings and here they are listed from 1 1 all the way through 6 6 let's go ahead and pick out the successful ones so the ones that have at least one four in them uh, there's one there one there one there and then this whole row and then here are the couple more let's add them up and see how many of these cases are there 1 2 3 plus 6 is 9 10 11 so 11 out of all possible 36 strings um, are successful strings. so the probability in the case of n is equal to 2 should be 11 over 36 what did our formula say we came up with 1 minus 5 by 6 raised to n in this case n is equal to 2 so 1 minus 5 by 6 raised to 2 which is 1 minus 25 over 36 which is nothing but 11 over 36 which is what we uh, did through enumeration so our formula seems to be correct the answer we are looking for is 1 minus 5 by 6 raised to n thank you